year, Riverside County must find ways to deter thousands of seagulls that flock to county landfills every day. Seagulls pose a health hazard because they can carry off garbage that can spread disease. What you see behind me is the active face. This landfill takes in uh, some 2,200 tons a day of trash and uh, you can see that that's an exposed face and the birds are definitely having a, a good day right now. For the most part, they're here during the colder weather. In the summertime, they tend to, uh, to leave the site. So the bulk of our efforts are focused on, uh, during the uh, winter months. Our goal is to, to make sure that they don't dig into the trash and, and carry off uh, you know, refuse. We've tried several methods over the years. The, one of the methods was stringing fishing lines across the active face. We've used bird calls, uh, distress calls, that simulate the, a bird under distress. That didn't work for very long. We've tried a reflective blow-up owl that hovers over, this, over the uh, active face. That hasn't worked. Uh, seagulls are actually found to be uh, having fun with that and playing with it. So the county went looking for a solution with a little more horsepower. John Gunther of Thousand Oaks has been involved in falconry since he was 13. Uh, they're sacred falcons. When they see the falcon released, they're gonna, it's going to be an immediate, evasive reaction. The falcons fly training circles around the landfill and are not even chasing the gulls. Even so, seagulls react immediately when they spot the shape of a predator in the air. John twirls a lure at the end of the tether. After the falcon makes its high speed passes over the landfill, John lets the falcon pounce on the lure and rewards it with a snack. They like the idea of using falcons to control seagulls. Fishing Game finds it a very effective and environmentally friendly uh, way to do it. So they've actually made it easier for us recently and they've opened the door to, to start using some of the native species so that's going to help us too. Well, the cost of the program on an annual basis is six to six thousand dollars which is expensive uh, but when you uh, compare that to the cost of the potential fines that could arise from the state inspection uh, it could lead to a ten thousand dollar a day fine so that's very significant as well. 